Today, I'm in Bismarck, North Dakota at Brown's Ranch, where they believe when it comes to farming and creating healthy soil, you have to go back to the basics and, of course, look to nature. If you can imagine these northern prairies hundreds of years ago, there was large herds of bison and elk. They would graze an area, trample it, defecate on it, and move on. Then they wouldn't come back for a long time. That allowed the plants the time to recover and to heal. Meanwhile, those plants then were taking carbon out of the atmosphere and pumping it down into the soil. The majority of ranches today put animals onto a pasture and leave them for the entire summer. We don't do that. Gabe Brown is a farm owner who does things differently, and yet he claims he spends less money and gets better results than many traditional farmers. We haven't used any synthetic fertilizer since 2007, yet our yields are approximately 20% higher than average in the county while regenerating the resource, and that's what's key. Gabe says it all starts with the way he raises crops. He plants five types in the same field. This here is barley. This here is oats. Right here is peas, field peas. Oh, look at that. And then we have flax growing here, right here. And then there's lentils. So there's five different species. The legumes, which are the lentils and peas, supply the barley and oats with nitrogen. The barley and oats, in turn, they cycle phosphorus. The legumes, the peas and lentils, like phosphorus. So these plants are all working together in harmony. That's how a healthy soil ecosystem functions. We're just trying to mimic it here on this ranch. Yeah, because driving by, I would probably assume that this is a, a field that yep. hasn't been tended to for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and I often get that type of reaction. Around here, they just call me crazy. And I have a saying I like to tell people when they bring that up. I say, people laugh at me because I'm different, but I laugh at them because they're all the same. Well, there you have it. Gabe's farm is all about what he calls regenerative agriculture, cycles that mirror nature, like the way he raises his animals. In the conventional beef operation, lock the cattle in a lot, feed the cattle hay every day. Then in the spring of the year, they got to clean all the manure out, haul it out on the land. What we do is a practice called bale grazing. We set the bales out on the pasture in the fall of the year. And then we use a temporary electric fence and we give our livestock access to about a week's worth of hay at a time. And they stand there and eat the hay and then they can walk back for water. Well, what happens then when they defecate, all the nutrients are already out on the land. So we don't have to haul the hay to the cattle and we don't have to haul the manure out on the land. In the spring, we bring our pastured hogs through here and let them root around and distribute these nutrients even further. I like to tell people, our animals have four legs for a reason. That's how they were created and evolved over time, is to move across the landscape. We use them as a tool to help harvest the forages that are being produced here. The way Gabe raises his hens is also inspired by nature. What we have behind us here is some of our, we call them egg mobiles. During the day, they can go in and lay their eggs in there. There's an automatic photosensitive door on there that opens up in the morning and it closes at night. Well, the hens all go inside at night, so it protects them from the predators. Good morning, girls. They're just starting to lay for the day, so starting to get a few eggs in here. They fly up and then hop in here and then They'll lay their eggs and the eggs roll out into the front here. When the hens aren't in the egg mobile, they're free to wander around the fields. They have a very healthy, carefree life. I tell people our chickens can walk to Bismarck if they want to. If you can imagine hundreds of years ago, the bison and the elk could move across these northern plains. Then what had happened, you'd have large flocks of birds that had come in behind them. Well, those birds are the sanitizers. They're eating all the fly larvae and insects that are a result of those grazing animals. So what we do on our operation is we try and mimic that. The cattle come through an area and then we come in with the laying hands and they'll eat all that fly larvae and they'll spread out that dung across the soil surface. 
thus fertilizing the landscape. It's a healthy life for the chickens, and they really produce some nutrient-dense eggs for us. So it's a win-win situation. I used to farm in the conventional model where I had animals in confinement. Now that I went to this, we're much more profitable than we were before. So it's good for us, it's good for the animals, it's good for the plants, and most importantly, it's good for future generations. So often you hear that the farming being done today is conventional. I beg to differ. I think the way we're operating now, by mimicking nature, that's conventional. Because it's been proven for eons of time. Why don't we just follow it? Well, that's a brilliant plan. I really hope that this, you know, catches on with a lot of other farmers around the world. And uh, yeah, I think I want to try one of those peas. Good. Can you pop one of those? You bet. <laughs> nature Knows Best will be right back. <laughs>